Hey guys, I watched the video that Nick sent me to post to my channel, and I'm going to post this video right afterward. I'm currently on a drive from LA. I just visited the Lundquist Institute as related to my research, and that video he made was, was amazing. And certainly I'm very humbled, and his words were very kind. As is my nature, I would want to reciprocate uh, because when someone's extending me credit, I can't help but take the opportunity to do so in kind, which is so easy to do in the case of Nick Norwitz. Before I talk about Nick in particular, I just want to also say that he's right and that I don't, I don't feel comfortable taking on a lot of credit for what we've been able to accomplish because it truly has been a grassroots effort in every meaning of the word. It is, this is a story written by many authors and I cannot express enough gratitude for all of you who've helped make this happen. Everybody who's contributed to the foundation, everybody who's provided further data that's helped us with our understanding. But I would be remiss if I didn't call out special dispensation for Nick Norwitz in particular, especially in how he's helped us move the mechanistic aspects of the lipid energy model into the literature. I mean, he, he, he's been so incredibly instrumental. And I just, I, you have to understand, I had gotten my lab results at the end of 2015, 2015. For half a decade, I was writing scientists, especially lipidologists, to get them interested in the triad, to get them interested in the phenotype of the lean mass hyperresponder. And there just was not that much interest, even as interest inside of the low carb community continued to grow. And then in 2021, I started having a dialogue with someone who was wrapping up his Oxford PhD, which he'd managed to get in a couple years and was going on to get into Harvard Med School, Nick Norwitz seemed like a supernova of energy because that was already more than enough for him to be doing. And yet he's just polished off, I believe, 30 papers to his name at age 27. So he's 100% right in that he's extremely entrenched, <clears throat> extremely entrenched in academia and I, in spite of all of these different folks who I've been trying to connect with to hopefully put together the kind of time it would take for us to get this moving forward, it's just, it's always been a challenge. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I appreciate how much folks have contributed to what degree they can, but Nick was really able to take this to an all new level. And it, without question, he's been so instrumental to making this happen. But on top of that, I just have to say, he's been a fantastic guy to connect with. And I appreciate everything he's been able to do both on the professional side, but also on, on the personal side. He's been a great friend. So I know that you've extended a lot to me, Nick both on, on character and pursuit from the scientific standpoint. But briefly stated, right back at you. 